All righty. Streets was good last night. Let's see if it's still good today. that sometimes you wake up startled because you think a monster is next to you and you start swinging and all of a sudden your stomach hurts because you realize, oh, it is just my pee pee and then go back to bed? Just curious because that was the word on the street and just had to get the facts straight. Which Monsters Inc. movies have you been watching, dude? Get him, Scav. Get him. Get him, Scav. Get him. Get him. He's dead at least. I think I was shooting his legs. Another one now. There is. I'm done. I'm done. <coughs> Looks like I needed this guy. Oh, this is a three man in here, bro. Snapping turtle baby. I just heard something out here. Ready for the snapping turtle. Loathing with 22 months. Ooh, 
slow strike fast. I guess I guess that's snapping turtle gameplay. <laughs> Swag. Better late than never, bro. Who piles taxes? What's the what's the government gonna do? Show up at your door with guns if you don't pay your taxes? It's crazy. You pay them. Just coming back into Taki after a month and a half this guy's break. Got some Time to get smoked by the turtles. Hope you're doing good, Zaddy. That's professional. XRL for 15 months. I have to go. I'm gonna go Klimov Street, I think. NF Attic 4 to 16 mil XT or MK5 HD3 to 18 Tremor 3 for my next 6.5 LMT 14.5 build. Uh, I would be less zoom. I don't, I mean, unless you're trying to strictly do long range. Four and three base power is too much for me. Oh! Oh, get the guys! Oh, got up! Oh! They scared me, man. They fucking scared me. They even end tomorrow or two, Monday. Two, Probably Monday. Two, two. Hope you leave? Well. Shit. Was that at me? Thanks. You leave? Was that at me? Little three piece. Oh, three piece. One year, my I mean, I guess. Yeah, well. mm -hmm. Quiet so far. <clears throat> Stud. It's for the prime. Land cheat. There's reason. I'm going to check 15. Jesus Christ. What is that audio, bro?
guys getting screwed by audio. My team decided we needed to incorporate nicknames for better rapport around the office. Lasted about two days before HR got involved and told us we had to stop. HR wouldn't tell us who told them, but we all agree we think it was Jimmy the rat faced. Jimmy the rat faced is what you call them. Hey, I'm behind you. Now, now you don't shoot me. And now I die because of this f***ing scav. Jesus Christ. That's so stupid. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's so f***ing annoying. What did I die to? SPP? Thoughts on Grey Zone? It looks really cool. I, I hope it turns out really cool as well, but I'm a little concerned with, like, the lack of focus on PvP in the game. I always say I personally think games need good PvP to have any type of longevity, and, like, if your game is going to be mostly focused on PvE for, like, a tactical shooter like this, it's, it's not going to last. I hope I'm wrong, but... They gotta do more PvP focus. One map. If it's a no, nah, if it's a big enough map with like enough detail and locations, and one map is fine. They can always make more too. Um, again, I think it's it's more about. I just think PvP gives longevity to games. I I don't really care what it is. People will get bored of killing AI. They're not fighting players enough. The experience isn't changing enough to keep people interested it's like you could fight a player you know a hundred times on the same map in the same location and even with the same guns and equipment and it'll play out differently like 99 times you know like especially in like a games like this where you die like where it's like kind of realistic when you die very quickly like the only way you can make ai harder is by basically like giving them aimbot, right? Like, making them more accurate and, and shoot, you like, faster reactions with more accuracy. And that just makes you die one tap to AI, and then it just feels like you get cheesed. Like, that's not really a fun experience. Give them more HP. Yeah, but then you're sitting there and you're, like, realistic game shooting somebody 40 times, and, like, it's... Then it's, it's also the same thing. <laughs> like... I don't think you can get the, like, actual behavior of them to be good enough. I don't know, just my take. I think you need, I think you need, like, good PvP focus and incentive in, like, these type of games for them to last. Yeah, I'm sure there's some people that strictly like PvE, but I I don't think that they're Bye bye. I don't think that those type of players play the game a lot. But it's not like the core of the community, I don't think. Could be wrong, but Oh my god, he's a level six. Christ. 
project asteroid waiting room be like? What's Project Asteroid? What Still is that? clapping cheeks. Project Asteroid? What's that? They play DayZ. Never really the standalone, because that game was always a piece of shit when I tried to play it, but like the OG mods, yeah, I played it a lot. Those games were so much fun, and I think there's still a huge market for games like that if someone were to make a good one, but nobody has for some reason. All right, which is actually shocking to me. Like, everyone's trying to do, like, the extraction shooter thing, and I feel like there's there's just a huge market for, like, a good survival DayZ type of game. Okay, so imagine, like, Tarkov simplified a, a good bit. But, like, this type of, like, moving, shooting, like, mechanics put in, like, an open world map, zombies and other players, just, like, sandbox game. It would be f***ing hella fun. Scum. I mean, Scum was, Scum was a, another game that tried to do it, but I think, I think a lot of those games, like, again, I, I think they missed the mark. Like, you need to focus on the PvP aspect of the game, and no one, no one does that with those, like... They try to make like a straight up survival game, like kind of missing the fact that I think you should make a PVP game with survival elements that enhance the PVP and like push the PVP to happen. I think that's where like devs really miss the mark with, with games like that. And you have to build the game as a first-person shooter. You cannot do it as a third-person. It never works. Third-person PvP sucks ass in games like that. Kind of like Rust. Uh, yeah, but more like more of like a realistic type of game than Rust and no base building. If there is some type of base building, make it like maybe some type of like stash thing or like small in-game storages that you like hide around the map base building is yo tony what's it sounds up? really cool in concept C. but i feel like it always <laughs> just <laughs> brings <laughs> a lot of frustration <laughs> to players yeah like if, if you do build anything that's like persistent it should be like small like storage items that you just like hide in a bush on the map Oh, they're fighting, bro. They're fighting. Look at them. I thought they were safe. They thought they were safe. I, I still think, dude, Battle Royale genre, I was talking about this the other day, it's not dead. I, I think nobody's made, like, PUBG 2, which I think they're working on currently, but no other game just tried to, like, let's do PUBG again, but make it better. Everyone tried to do, like, their own weird thing, they're like, a hero, shooter, uh, I mean, like, COD was maybe the closest to it, but COD, like, the gameplay wasn't quite the same as PUBG. It was just no one tried to make PUBG 2. And I feel like there's, a again, a big market for that type of BR.
I, I honestly think if someone just like did PUBG 2, it would pop off. Everyone tried to be very unique with like the battle royale genre after Fortnite, I think. With like the success of Fortnite, and they just forgot like how it all started with PUBG. I mean, technically H1Z1 started it, but PUBG was what really like brought it together. I don't know how they would improve it other than graphics. Again, uh, a lot of what made PUBG, a lot of what held PUBG back was that it was built as a third person game and then they transitioned it to a first person game when they realized that first person was far better for battle royales than third person. It wasn't built from the ground up as a first person shooter. That was a huge thing with PUBG in my opinion. Tarkov snatched the market for this type of game. The thing with this type of game is like the amount of work and like the amount of work you have to put in to make a good extraction shooter, it just seems astronomical. You need so many features and items and maps and like mechanics in the game. It just seems like it's there's so much that has to go right for a game like this to work. I feel like the formula for a good battle royale or like a good like survival shooter is it's, it's so much simpler. Good raid. Yay, AI. Thanks, Rojam. I don't know. I'm, I'm like I said. I'm surprised everyone like kind of gave up on the like survival shooter type game. I mean, we saw like a couple of them pop up and fail, but they all tried to go like too big with it. They try to do like this crazy base building and all these crazy mechanics, and I think you can just simplify the. F <laughs>